Hello everyone, Mr. Onos here, and welcome to my new Let's Play of 122 Dalmatians Puppies to the Rescue. Well, technically this is my second, but we're considering it my first. Uh, yes, you saw, developed by uh, Eidos Interactive, well, I think it's just Eidos, and Coastal Dynamics, who are now part of Square Enix. Uh, based on the movie of the same name, the live action movie, I should say. Of the same name, which I have not seen in years. God. I don't remember if I saw it in theaters. Or if it when it first came out on video. But it's been forever since I've seen it. And, uh... I think... Last... The only stuff I remember from the, from the movie now is, like... Whatever I saw on the Blockbuster Busters review of the movie... No sweat. Mom and Dad will be back from their walk soon. But yeah, that's about on? it. Yeah, this has voice acting. It's not very good. Oh well, man, it's not terrible. It's not like hey, a Resident hey. Evil if we're going by stand if we're going by voice acting on the PlayStation. Or you know, Meg Man 8. It's passable. And here's Corella. You're uh, of course, I'll move for the game. Not voice. I'm pretty sure she's not voiced by Glenn Close. I don't think she is. I seriously doubt she is. Um, I don't know. I don't even know who, who any of the voice actors are in this game. I mean, I could find them in the credits, but I don't know who, to who they go to. Uh, going back to Idos, uh, I have never really played an Idos game. Aside from like Arkham Asylum, but that was, you know, besides Arkham, Batman Arkham Asylum, that was primarily Rocksteady anyway. Uh, other than that, in this game, I've never played an IOS game. Like, I've never played a Tomb Raider game. I have never played like uh, Hitman. Um, I've never played uh, uh, Deus Ex. No, this game. I've it's never touched any of them. I that I really I really should have played those at some point. I might if I can find maybe I could try out the most recent Tomb Raider. Um, I really want to try as far as they said it goes. I really want to try, uh, you know, Re Human Revolution. I'll tell you what we can do. Um, I'll wait until I get, I'll wait until I can find a good price for like, uh, the director's cut, or whatever that version is called. Um, yeah, Hitman, never played any of the Hitman games, I know there's an HD collection, I might get that, if that's on the darlings. Also, you may have noticed, Cruella, over the top, really over the top. But then she's the villain. It's probably appropriate for her to be over the top. Go help rescue our family. My thoughts exactly, sis. Let's go. And so we're just two puppies. Uh, let's just let's go save all everyone, even though we're probably very ineffectual. Let's start with the first level, Regent's Park. Uh, thankfully, I already practiced this level. Uh, I have a separate file for that. And just to let you know, I have actually 100%ed this game a few times, so I have an idea of what I'm doing. Also, this is that pair from the movie. I'm pretty sure he was never this big. I mean, he's dwarfing, he's dwarfing the puppy. He's dwarfing Domino right there. And this is your good to. In case you didn't get it, this is your good to for the game. Rescue all your family members, all the puppies. That's the basic thing you have to do. And they're not required. That, and yes, they are. Obviously, they're required for a game hundred percent. This isn't one of those games where uh, where you have to get all of them before you can actually get to uh, the last level. I mean, thank God. I mean, this isn't like this isn't like the original Rayman where you have to get all those little electro lums, whatever. To get to the last level, thank God. This game is easy. But yeah, uh, you you have your controls. Uh, X to jump. O to sniff. We'll get into that. Um, 
uh, the left shoulder buttons turn the camera right. Right shoulder buttons turn the camera to the left. Uh, square, barks, triangle. That just animated like that. And yes, there are bones. Uh, there are a hundred in each level. And here's some more over here. Some are buried underground. That's what your sniff is for. Like it, but I will not get into that until we get some of the other stuff out of the way. Because honestly, like, because uh, I don't know, I don't know what it is about the sniff mechanic, but it's finicky. It's finicky as all heck. Like, I mean, watch. Yeah, I'll sniff. Oh well. Okay, hang on. Let's see if I can make it work. See it. See the sniff doesn't all doesn't only just uh show you where bones underground are. They also show you like you know pieces of food right here, which restores your health, and also puppies trapped in boxes. I want to get all that stuff out of the way, like all the above ground bones, all the puppies and boxes. I want to get all that out of the way before I find the underground bones. Anyway, here's a squirrel. My name's Fidget. My mom calls me that because well, I never stop moving. <laughs> Nice to meet you, tell. Fidget. There's a lot of fun stuff to do around here. But look out for those evil no, not really. It's if you have any it's, a, it's your Santa Claus level. It's not very fun. There's better levels later. Yeah, the game does. Yeah, the game does get better later on, and sometimes worse. Some levels are gonna give me a pain. And if you've ever played this game, I think you know which ones I'm talking about. If you haven't played this game, I will tell you now, there is one level where you're in a, where you're in a hot, like a dark forest. Oh boy, that's gonna, that's gonna be a major pain in my side. Practicing for that is not gonna be enough. Also, here are some bees. And, uh, you will need them. Yes, uh, the henchmen... From the first move, from like the first move, like live action and animated, are here. And also, and later, and later on, you will see the, uh, you will see the uh, French guy from the second movie. He's here too. But, but again, you won't see him here. You'll see him later on. Speaking of which, uh, I for some reason I remembered until I watched uh, the Bob Buster Buster's review of the movie. I don't, I thought he was like a wrestler or something. But no, he's a fat. No, he's like a fashion model, or something like that. I don't know why I thought he was a, he was like a wrestler. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, bye -bye. And yes, uh, killing enemies will uh, get get you bones. Three each. It's always three each. And yes, there's another puppy. Here's another one. Bye bye. There's some bone. There's, yeah, there's some bones over there. Actually, give me a second. I'm gonna go up here into the fountain up here because there are more. There are more bones up here. Am I missing it? Wait, am I missing any over here? No, I'm not. Okay, well, let's get the bone. Fucking bones. I have some up here. Okay. Surround. Get these bones. <laughs> and don't worry, you won't get tired when swimming around. You can swim forever, basically. So hooray. Let's get these bones. Ah. ah, crap. Well, here's a trick you can do. You don't have now. You don't actually have to climb all the way back up there. You can just do this. Ah. Okay, it's not working for some reason. Hang on. Let's switch puppies. And yes, you can switch between. And yes, you can switch between both dogs on the fly. Yeah, the, the dogs don't control differently, honestly. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna switch back. I'm gonna switch back to Donna. I'll alternate between them for each level. And bye bye monkey. And bye bye monkey. You have to be careful about what attack you use. Well, no, this is. Well, no, this isn't like Spyro or anything where you have two attacks and you have to make sure you use the right one. The, both enemies will go down with either of them. But. Uh, the RC car? 
uh, like the RC car, uh, sometimes rolling into that kind of doesn't work. Out. You get, sometimes you'll get hit by it. Oh, by the way, here's a checkpoint. And there's my uh, practice file. There we go. And if you lose a life, you'll just go back there. Okay. Now, now let's go get Jasper. And he is up here. There he is. Let's roll right past him. Come on. Uh, dude, I'm dude, I'm over here. Really? Come back here. Are you blind? Come on, chase me. And don't get too far from him, because then he'll lose sight. He'll lose sight of where you are. Oh, yeah, hitting. Yes, he. Obviously, you take damage. Uh, where are you? Ah, there he is. Okay, almost hit me. Come on up here. Come on. And by the way, I should let you know, I'm actually doing this with live commentary for the first time. I have found a setup that lets me do live commentary, and I don't have to do post commentary. Alright, now while this is playing out, I should... Let me explain something. Um, this isn't the only uh, Let's Play I'm doing right now. I'm also going to be doing a Let's Play of Spyro 2 alongside this. You know, to make up for the fact that I have not been uploading videos all that frequently, so this will make... So having two Let's Plays going at the same time will make up for it. And speaking of Let's Plays, you're probably wondering where where Ace Attorney Investigations is. <clears throat> um, where that's going, I'm canceling that. Honestly, I don't. Post commentary makes it very hard for me to talk about a game. Honestly, because I've run out of stuff to say. I had stuff to say in that second and third episodes where I talked about uh, the second Hunger Games movie and uh. And the MLP season 4 premiere, respectively. But for like the first episode, and I think maybe the fourth episode, for like the fourth part, I had I didn't have anything to say. I don't. Yeah, I don't like to do post commentary. I I need stuff to say for post commentary. Live commentary. I, I, it's fine for me. Alright, uh, I think she needs her nut. If you know what I mean. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm above that. But before we go down there, uh, here's a pigeon. Check out the lovely pigeon. There's a pigeon death statue down there. Let's go bring it to the statue. And doing this, well, give it a minute. Uh, no, no, down there. What are you doing? Go. Go. Oh. No. Not that way. Stop, stop! Really? Oh, where is it? Oh, come on. Go up there. Go. 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 Faster pigeon. Go. Okay. There it goes. It didn't actually touch the statue for some reason. No one's supposed to activate when you touch the stack, but I guess the game decided to be generous. Yes, for that, you'll get, yeah, a sticker. That's basically the thing you, things you get for 100%. You have a sticker out in the base, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, uh, there are six stickers for each level. Um, and it's just, and now one of, there's one for getting 100 bones. Um... There's one finding all the puppies, and there's one finding the exit. And the three other stickers are very level specific. Now the henchman, like you have Jasper, and I think Horse is the the fat henchman. Uh, uh, they will be in every other level. So for like a sec, you have Jasper here. Uh, he's in this level, but for the second level, you will not have a henchman. You'll have something else to do. Nice job. Um, so there's that. Alright, that's four puppies. Let's set up puppies. And that opens the gate. I'm apparently missing a puppy somewhere. I 
don't know where. There's that, there's one voice tip for the puppies that when you rescue them, oh, here's another one, like, that I really don't like. Ugh. Ugh, that's the one. Whoever you are that set that, like, did the record, did the voice clip for that? What were you thinking? Honestly, that was a that was a Is bad delivery. Anyways, Bridget? here's your nut. Yeah, Not the kind of nut I was thinking of, but whatever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's a little reward. Cool. Nice, thank you. And you also get a sticker for that. That that is it. That is also like I said, there are no specific stickers that you have to get. That is one of them. Oh, and here, let me show you. I want to show off one more thing over here. Hi, Wellsworth. Here's I the bird. Certainly. There are a lot of things lying on and the And he will tell you all about. Oh yeah, he just tells you everything I told you about, like the food and the bones and stuff. All right, let's see. Where? Which puppy am I missing? Actually, let me go back over here. Okay, like I said, the sniff mechanic is used for finding underground bones. Let's let's do it now. We follow the trail, and there's supposed to be a bone there. Ah, there it is. Okay, hang on. There's supposed to be a bone over here. Why is it not working? Yeah, this is what I mean. It's finicky. It's very finicky. It, it, I don't know what it is. This is, this is one of the problems with, I have with the game. It, the, the sniffing is just finicky as... Oh! Thank you. Uh, thanks for rescuing me. And there's the last puppy. And that's all of them. Oh, here's another one on this. And bash the monkey. Not shock the monkey, bash the monkey. Now then, sniff out the rest of the bones. I will show... I will show off sniffing out for bones once. Every other every other time I will just I will just cut it out. Because do you really want to see this? No, I don't think you do. I'm thinking I might well actually I might either cut this out in the future or just speed it up in editing. Show me the way, it will have. I guess I might actually, I might either cut this out in the future or speed it up. Because really, I'm not gonna have this as like a guide for where they all are. All you have to do is just, well, follow your nose, basically, as two people in the sand would say. Oh, there's a bone. And and that's not and that icon is, is your extra life. Just to let you know. Actually, you know what? I might actually just cut this out in the future. Like I said, there's no they're all in, they're all in like set spots. They're not randomized, thank god. So that so that's so that's that. Oh, uh, there, there's the last bone. And you have a stick for that. Ah, but there's one more stick to get. There's the exit. And... Oh, wait. Yep, there it is. And now we ho hop through this. And that's the end of the level. I have everything, I'm assuming. It should say 5% if I have everything. Yep, it has 5%. And the next level is the toy store. But we're going to be doing that in the next part. Yeah, bye-bye. Exit level. I will save that for the next part. Save game, I just saved. And next part, we will... We will take on... The Toy Store.